Zanker Materials Processing Facility specializes in construction wastes. Material enters the site from contractors, debris boxes, and homeowners. All incoming materials are weighted and recorded and directed to our tipping area. There, a load checker will direct you to where you tip your materials. Your materials are tipped in an asphalt pad area where a load checker will grade your material. He may even take a photo of the load for documentation. At the Zanker Material Processing Facility, we have the capability of processing 180,000 tons of construction waste per year through our construction waste sorting system. This system is used to remove up to 16 different commodities. We first utilize a cat excavator to manicure the loads, while another cat excavator carefully loads the in-feed conveyor system. These materials then travel to a screening system, where the smaller materials, less than 8 inches in size, are removed for further processing. Materials larger than 8 inches, or the overs we'll call them, are conveyed to the manual sort line, where they are sorted using hand labor. The C&D sort line uses 22 employees to process up to 65 tons of material per hour with an average recycling rate of 85%. As employees recover the recyclable commodities, each material is dropped in a bunker below, which can be easily removed by one of our loaders. Each employee is responsible for removing up to three commodities, therefore allowing redundancy in our system if a material is missed by one of the previous sorters. The recovered material is then routed for additional site processing or loaded and hauled to approved recyclers. This system dramatically improved processing operations as sorters were no longer ground sorting near vehicles and trucks. Residual materials from the sorting operations are then loaded into transfer trucks and sent to an area landfill for disposal. The smaller materials from the screening system near the beginning of the sort line are then conveyed to a debris roll screen where the smaller 3 inch minus materials are removed. The larger materials are then processed through a knee-hot air separator that divides the material by density. The diverted material falls into very large bunkers underneath the sort line. These materials are then sent to approved recyclers throughout the state or sent to Zanker Road Landfill, Site 1, for processing. In 2014, the facility processed 180,000 tons of material. The smaller materials from the debris roll screen which are less than 3 inch minus, are then conveyed to a trommel screen that removes smaller particles, mainly sheetrock. This product is then loaded onto trucks and transported to the agriculture industry for reuse. The remaining products are then processed using a knee-hot air separator that separates the material by density. The remaining material from the knee-hot are conveyed to a stockpile and shipped to another landfill for use as an alternative daily cover. If you would like more information regarding our recycling services at our Zanker Material Processing Facility, please visit our website at www.zankerrecycling.com.